Come here. Yeah, you. Want some candy? Here, mix this with your energies. Shh. My DCs if I can. And let them finish mop up the game. Ooh, look at that. He's like, ah! Well, you don't gotta be sneaky about it. Candy for everybody. Here we go. One for you, 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 and you. Tacos. I like tacos. I want some tacos. Here we go. Burn a little bit. Everything is a little wounded. Automatic candy machine. Candy in his hand. If you pull Metal Gross now, you got a rare candy. You've got the rare candy. Massive candy overdose. Flying flip. Ha! Bye bye. Bye. Spoilers. Well, hello, Douglas. And the Frenchals, it's definitely not Donald. He's not here today. So, on today's menu, I'll be serving you a Halloween candy deck. Yeah, with special Pokemon, we'll be giving you lots of candies to our enemies Pokemon and hope they overdose on sugar. Yeah, so this is how it works. Let's jump into it. Here we go. Gengar. Our star today. We need a ghost for Halloween, right? Yeah, so what does Gengar do? He's a sneaky ghost. He's gonna try to mix candy with your enemy's food supply. Energy! So when they feed their Pokemon energy, say, like, here, have some candy. And then it's like, oh, okay, I trust this Gengar. And they're gonna get two damage for every Gengar you set up. And how many Gengars can you set up? Four of them. So if you got to get all four out, then they'll actually get eight pieces of candy per energy. Wouldn't that be great? So, you know, he, uh, we need more candy than that. They're not gonna be satisfied. So, in order to increase the sugar amount, we're gonna go use Tapu Coco. He's like, you know, everybody can get candy. He doesn't sneak it. He just throws it at you. Flying flip 20 damage of candy to all your opponent's Pokemon. All of them. Okay, so he actually just only takes uh, double color synergy to use. And if you're losing, uh, well, you can just use the counter energy. That's that's pretty much, yeah, seven energies worth. You could just use one energy card to feed this Tapu Coco. All right, so what is our, uh, what is an big final way to give out energy. We have the automatic candy dispenser. Shrine of Punishment. Now, it's not safe for kids. It's only safe for GX and EX Pokemon. They're adults, they can take it, and they'll give free candy every turn. One damage counter between turns. So you get all that up, and you probably have still not enough damage. So we're gonna have the candy multiplier. Candy doubler. What does Con Hunchcrow do? Raven's Claw. Look at this energy cost. Woo! It doubles the damage, and all your opponent's Pokemon, only the front one gets it. So basically, that front candy guy is going to get an overdose if everybody else has been working so far. So, that's how the deck works. We give everybody lots of candy and start, well, they're going to burn out eventually. But if they don't burn out fast enough, we're just going to speed it up through our hunch girl right here. And, uh, you know, I do have the energies. You can attack too. 70 confusion. Okay, so that is it. Let's go, uh, it's Halloween. Let's go, uh, feed some candy. Yeah. You bet this is gonna work? You bet. You bet it will. You bet it will. Here we go. The coin flips. Hey, Barbecue Master, what do you think this is? Donald, it's heads. I think it's tails, but I'll go with you, man. No, nicely. I think you can trust Donald with this. Thanks, Barbecue Master. You're right. You're right. So, I'm gonna play my cover. This is Aphyxia. From Attack on Titan. Okay, what we got here? Murkrow? Oh, I don't want to show you that early. But, uh, well, we, we gotta. You gotta. So, we are definitely gonna play an Ultra Ball. And I have Rare Candy here, so I'm definitely gonna save that. Rescue Stretcher way, way, way too early. Ooh, it's Metagross. This will be interesting. Oh, I can't punish this deck. That stupid ability goes through Gengar's effect. So it's not gonna hurt the Metagross very much. Yeah, I'll take the extra two cards. A little tricky. Now you wish now you wish you had a switch here. Oh wait, what's that? Well you put a GX front, so I'll definitely throw this down. Alright, so these two cards should not be up front. You the rescue stretcher, worst card to have your hand at the start. Goosebell, also the worst card to have your hand at the start. Alright, we have a uh, we I mean I wanna get all my gas leaves up if possible, man. If possible. Please all be here. So we're gonna play Lily. That's the best draw that you can start. And yeah, this is clicking. Luckily, this is clicking. That's the last Ghastly I have. 
I see a Haunter, and I see a Gengar. All right, that is gonna be it, guys. So we're gonna be able to thin our pan pretty well. And here we go, look at that shrine, giving us some value here immediately. So last bench space is gonna go for the Coco, because there's no more uh, Gaslys, and we'll see what we have to do after this. But this is a good hand, there's a lot of thinning, and there's a Lily to follow up afterwards, so excellent here. Oh, I found your deck list for Eradicate Break. Oh, Eradicate Breaks. Ah, oh, Break cards are rotated, but I'm glad it helped. I'm glad it helped, uh, Rage uh, X. All right. Da -na, da -na -na. You know, you can ra rare candy this front ghastly and it has a free retreat, which is really, really nice. All right, so I can't attack and I hope he fills up his bench so we can get some more value out of the Coco here. All right, Ian. I was like, I've seen this build before. Yeah, another GX comes to the field, good. And by next turn, there are going to be some Gengars here. So excellent, excellent value. So I'm going to drink some, uh, hey, it's Nightail. It's a double issue there. Come on, Cynthia. We need to get away some codes. But I need some still two good matches with Gengar before I do that. It's going to be, uh, yeah. Come on, yes. Fill up more. Fill them up more. He's like, he's so happy right now. He just needs a decent double colors energy. Now, all the energies are still in my deck. There are nine of them, so I know I probably will pull one or two. All right, so let's see what's up here. I'll let you be. Fill up. Fill it up. No, fill up your bench for me. That means he's got a rare candy in his hand. If you pull Metal Gross now, you got a rare candy. You've got the rare candy. So I got the rare candy as well. So here we go. Let's go ahead and put that up. Uh-oh, wrong guy. Wrong guy, Donald. You can't stop him. You can't stop it. You can't stop it. You can't stop it. Let's go ahead and do this here. If it works, it does work. I think this is almost everything I can do. I'm going to need this for later. And let's see what we can do here with this. You can KO my Ghastly afterwards. So I should have been able to attack this turn, but you saw the mistake I made there. You saw the mistake I made. So I'm going to have to leave it be. That was, that was a misclick. So... No, did you do Evil Toll Eradicate GX? Yeah, not separately, separately, but not together there. All right. Although, I like that. That does fit. That does fit. So I let a free Ghastly go. And this gets the energy there, so he does not take any damage. And by that time, we can do some spread after this. Free KO without any value there. You're my only other Ghastly, because the other one's priced up. So I'll leave this here. Try and burn all three of them. This is going to get super good value later. Now we have two Gengars up. And I'm going to put the counter energy right here. I'm going to save the Ultra Balls and Murkrow for later. No, the Rescue Stretcher is gone. The Murkrow goes down now. There's no way I can get another Gengar unless it comes out the prize card. So two Gengars pressuring him. That's good enough. That's all we can do. So a late flying flip here. All right. Oh, <laughs> everything is hurt. This thing will pretty much take out everything here. I know. Well, actually, he needs two energies to actually take this out. So he needs an energy and a Metagross, which will punish him a little bit more. And Coco is going to give me some pretty good value. Yeah. Fill up your bench. Yeah, more damage for you. So I want to save my DCs if I can. And let them finish mop up the game. Ooh, look at that. He's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Well, he is going to be able to Geotech through most of the day at that there, but that's still good. Choice, man. I got no GX Pokemons. I, yeah, I got no GX Pokemons around, so Nest Ball, that's going to really fill that bench up now. So, Coco, you're good. As long as he doesn't able to attack me again, I'm good. I'm going to put a heart face here. So, one energy is not enough. That's still only a... He'll barely survive. Barely, barely, barely survive. So, extra value right there. Alright, so the counter energy doesn't need to go anywhere. Woo! Everything burns just away a little bit. This is good. I'm thinking about retreating and he's like, no, you can still get some value. 
and just finishing this off now. Nah, hurt them a little bit more, Donald. Hurt them more. All right, let's start thinning, guys. Let's start thinning. I'm not gonna need this. I'm gonna really want to pull that Lily next turn. All right, Hunch Crow, you're ready, man. And I'm gonna pull Lily because I need more cards to play right now. Hey, thank you for the follow. Justin has tacos. I like you. You got tacos. That's good. Here we go. I like you. You got tacos. I like tacos. I want some tacos. Here we go. Burn a little bit. Everything is a little wounded. So after this, we might start. I don't know. I think I'm still attacked with the Coco a little bit more. We'll be able to finish this off soon. Yeah, the, the Hunch Crow will need to end the game with the Conch Crow somehow. I got a Guzma. I want to go for that Metagross because that's the big heavy fighter there. He might have some max potions so you can see the burn going. And that's how it's working this time. It's working. Celestial Storm booster packs are really good. They are. But now we got Lost Thunder. Oh, there's so many good cards with Lost Thunder. There's so many good cards with Lost Thunder. So now he's going to have enough. I think, uh, yeah, I could pepper him again or I could finish him off. It doesn't matter. I probably might take the Metagross out because that will make, uh, they'll make life pain. I don't know. It's hard to choose. It's so hard to choose. Actually, I could take this guy out with a... <laughs> he's about to die. He's about to die, so that's good. I'll, 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 I'll keep shooting with the Coco. Or we could actually use a Guzma and then, you know, do that. And I, I think... No, I think he's got Retreat covered easily. All right. So I'm going to be... I'm going to be a little jerk. I'm going to attack with that. We are going to go ahead and thin a little bit more. Sorry, Candy. Sorry, Energies. I'm going to... If he replaces the stadium, I'm going to need a replacement. All right, we're going to add our Coco instead of evolving that right now. Put this up here. Ready you for battle. All right, so I am going to get a prize this time. So I'm going to go for that. You're already evolved. I mean, you're already good to go. So we have taken no prize cards, but you can see we can take a bunch of prize cards soon. Yeah, we might be able to kill all the Beldums. That, that is a possibility. That is a possibility. A shrine is taking care, good care of these Jexes. 30. 40. And if he puts an energy on a Pokemon, that's going to hurt. Yeah, I was like, I don't think you can put an energy on anything else here except the best guy. Yeah, he's like, oh, well... I better take care of this. I can one-shot this. That's a good choice. And then I'll just kill you with this. And none of your Pokemons can deal with me. Or I can kill all the Beldums and then take you out later. So many choices! We have free retreat. We can worry about it later, man. We can worry about it, man. Happy Halloween. Trick or treat. I got some tricks for you. I got some candy. Okay. That's a mean bench. Da -da 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 -da. Coco will KO your Lele too. Yep. Yep. We are definitely gonna try. I mean, if I pull a DC or counter energy, it will go for the Coco. I have free retreat, so I will it doesn't matter this time around. So we uh we're good. We are good. He's really wants a max potion to deny me some uh, damage right now. And there's yet another man. Another expensive. I definitely my deck is gonna be a lot more budget than his. He's got the rainbow rare Metagross. So they're going to evolve, so mm, that's going to survive instead of be able to take it out. So I'm not sure what to do here. So I'll be able to take three prize cards in the next move. Oh man, Acrobikes. And three prize, that might be just worth it. We'll see, we'll see. Geotech, he still has to use his GX, so he could actually use Tapu Lele's GX if he's smart. He should do that. There is some Psychic Energy, I believe. There is. Yeah, you could have sent this out in GX and, you know, be good. Eh, it's okay. Alright, we have free retreat. If we don't get energy, we will just retreat to Honchkrow and fight. But if we don't get energy, well, we'll leave it be. Try burns them all a little bit more. I think, I think we're going to get this KO and this KO at the same time. Just dump this, see what it is. It worked. I don't even need this. There's my energies. That's what I need. So I'm just dumping this out of my deck here. We're going to Cynthia. And we hopefully can get a bunch of KOs. Cynthia's. Come on. Pull me an energy card, please. There we go. There we go. I don't 
thin. Thin. Flying flip. Bye-bye. Ah! Bye, the Coconut Master. I don't know who was this. Who died here? It was probably the Beldum. There we go, Gengars. And you. At this point, Honchkrow is like, Donald, just let me finish the game off. Wait a minute. What's that? Is that dead too? Oh, that's the game. Never mind. Happy Halloween, Gengar. Happy Halloween, buddy. Happy, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, not. I'm going second. Yeah, I lost a coin flip. Let's play Death by Glamour from Undertale. It's Halloween like a song. All right. What we want now is start, start fighting with the Cocos. Yeah, so I'm going to save the DCs. We'll save this for like a Ghastly or something or even Honchro. Alrighty. Oh. Well, you better get your... You better get some anti-bench damage out here. Uh, watch out. Watch out. So, because I'm a bench damage deck. So, hopefully we can start cooking. We'll definitely start cooking the Wishy-Washy, too. And I know Wishy-Washy can't one-shot me. Okay. This is going to be a weird, weird deck, man. Yep. Blaziken. Blaziken was excellent, man. Oh, you can't attack me. I do not care. I'll be able to look through my deck after this, so and this will activate my ominous, uh, yeah, stuff. I need to do some bench damage right now. And Gengar is like, dang, this thing only works with one energy. Why do I even care? That's true. What's in my deck? Okay. If this works, I'm gonna get a DCE. I'm sorry, a Nest Ball. Nest Ball! Coco! That went on the wrong Pokemon. That went around the wrong, wrong Pokemon. I was gonna put it on the Coco and switch. So that was like, oh man, I misclicked it. I misclicked it. Either way, I'm gonna leave it to be there. So I can actually use this next turn. You misclicked that because they were so close to each other. Okay, so, well, well we just counter energy to Coco. Sky, oh, oh, okay. So we can actually remove that next turn and do some damage there. Okay, so that's, no, that was inefficient, but I just leave it be. Just leave it be. Sky's like, well, I'll just kill this, kill this here for free because definitely. Didn't know where it clicked there. And we'll send this out because this activates counter energy. And now I'm gonna start frying your wishy washies. At least we got a hunter. Got a hunch crow. Take this here. And we're gonna go ahead and do flying flip. Frying flip. Weakness damage and frying and Come on, wishy washies. That's dangerous. This might be my deck. Nope, it's not. I didn't put any uh, that stadium there. Uh oh, bye, wishy washies. You're gone. You are gone. Happy Halloween. Here's some candy. What'd you put in your candy? That's not nothing I have here. Happy Halloween. Ah! Enjoy the candy. <laughs> That's Lily, a draw supporter. Now with the wishy washy, two prize cards with the draw supporter gods, and now I need another energy because I that that I'm winning now. All right, so hopefully we can pull some stuff here. Pull some magic. He's gonna go for a Spectral Torrent. Man, you should evolve sooner so you can, you know, hurt him. At least you live. Try, burn, 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 baby, burn. Okay. I could probably fight with you next. Bingo. Where's my timer ball? Timer ball. Bingo. Gengar. Eighty. 
Pull this wishy-washy out. Use the Honchcrow. They're all wounded, so Honchcrow should do a lot of damage with Raven's Claw. 220 damage. There we go. You may be loading up energies, but that's all those energies are now gone. They are now gone. There's no wishy-washies to help you now left. You I got some badge to pull at the start of the stream, and now this this here comes through. Yeah, this here comes through. So he's got I don't think he's got anything. Hey Sir <laughs> He's like, yep, I'm out of here, Donald. I'm out of here. Happy Halloween. Good job. Good job. That counts. That absolutely counts. We're good. We're good. Enjoy your holiday, guys. Enjoy your holidays. All right, so nice, sweet thing. And I'll leave that. Well, looks like you reached the end. Thank you, congratulations. It's time we rate this deck. So stick it to this Gengar. Here we go, unique trait. What do we like about this deck? We like the bench damage. We like hurting everything and getting multiple KOs in turn. It's just so much more flashier that way. I'm gonna give this a 4.5 because man, that Metagross, that was just a beautiful payoff to see all those collapse, everything fall apart. So yes, damage, this is a four out of five. It takes a while to kick in, but the damage is enough. So at some point they're gonna tip over. They're gonna fall over and it's there. So I'm gonna give it a four though. Still takes you know turns and you can't really stop the stop their damage from going through. So, uh, reliability, I'm gonna give it a 3.5. In spite of 4-4 four, four line of Gengars and Candies and Haunters, I still wasn't able to get it up. Still intensive, and your opponent's deck may affect how this deck will work. They got big, nice, juicy GX that can stomp all your Cocos. That's not gonna go so well. So we have to be aware of that and just give this a 3.5 out of 5. A little bit under than the rest of its fun scores. So, writing, I think it's more of a troll deck. You wouldn't really uh, maybe try to main it through a tournament and all, but uh, for fun, to, to, to do silly things, yeah, go for it. So, uh, weakness, like I said, if they don't really have a bench and their Pokemon works off with a couple of energies, consistent, knock out those Cocos, then you're, uh, yeah, we're talking about like a low light rock or something like that. Wow, 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 wow. Or a Buzzwall that has a little bit boosted uh, damage. Yeah, so you're not gonna get too much value out of that. So you see, there's just you will you will lose that. All right, so that is that for Gengar. So what is the final deck we're gonna do before Lost Thunder? We're gonna revisit Zygarde. Yeah, Verdict. Wait a minute. Not you, not you, not you. Verdict GX. That is gonna be up for next time. And you know what my upgrade are, right? A certain slug. Well, I kinda wanna use them, but it's gonna be your uh, younger, younger, uh, younger one. Alright, so that is it for now. Hope you guys enjoy your Halloween. Uh, please like, subscribe. I got more great things coming for you. I stream live on Twitch. You just gotta follow me to catch those streams live. The Discord link is gonna right in the description. You just gotta open up and it's there. Covers, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you like to stream your music. So that is it for now. Thank you, Unigrows for Friendships. Take it easy, stay safe this Halloween. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye. All right.